Hi all, welcome to the third lecture on computer organization and architecture. Today we will be seeing about bus architecture. So before that we will brush up what we have seen in the past two lectures. In the first lecture we have seen about von Neumann architecture or stored memory architecture wherein we saw what are all the components that are present inside a computer system. Then what is the purpose of each and every component present in a computer system. And in the second lecture, we saw about registers that are present inside the processor. Various special purpose register and general purpose register that are present inside the processor has been discussed in the lecture too. So the special purpose registers that are present inside a processor are memory address register, memory data register, accumulator, program counter, instruction register. And there are, depending upon the architecture, the number of general purpose register may vary. And today, we will be seeing about bus architecture. What is a bus? Bus is a group of wire that helps the components to communicate with one another. So there are various components in a computer system. And how do these components communicate with each other is through this communication link called bus. Bus is nothing but it is a group of wires connected together. Okay. So uh, these main components are connected through system bus. The system bus are of three types. One is address bus, data bus and control bus. Let's see one by one what is address bus, what is data bus and what is control bus. First one, address bus. As we all know, address bus, it is used to transmit the address of the memory location that is in the main memory. So this address bus is unidirectional because the processor is the one who is going to give the address from where the memory instruction to be fetched or from where the data from the memory has to be fetched. So address bus is purely unidirectional. It is just generated by the processor and it is given or accessed from various other components of the system. So address bus is purely unidirectional and all the components are connected in this way, unidirectional through the address bus. So that is all about the address bus. Address bus transmit the address of the memory location from where the instruction or data has to be fetched. Coming on to the next bus which is data bus. As the name itself tells us, data bus. Data bus it is used to carry the data for processing. So it is obviously bidirectional. So data bus it is bidirectional. And let us see how this data bus from the processor is communicating with each and every component of the computer system. So now uh, the data bus it is bidirectional in case of memory unit because the data has to be fetched from the memory for processing. The data after processing has to be written onto the memory so that the output can be given, gotten from the memory. Okay, so, so uh, with respect to memory unit, this data bus is bidirectional because the memory from the memory the data can be fetched and the data can be written, uh, I mean written to the memory as well. So the direction here is bidirectional. With respect to input unit, how this data is made? Input unit is where you get the data from. So obviously the input unit's direction will be like this. So data is gotten from the input unit through the data bus to the processor and the main memory unit. So this is it. So input unit is one who supplies the data to the processor and the memory and everything. How about the connection to the output unit for this data bus? Yes, it is in this direction because output unit is not going to give any data to the data bus or the processor or the memory unit. It is just going to display the final output of the processing. And thus, the direction of which the data bus is connected to the output unit is this. Hope you all understood. Data bus, as the name suggests, it, it is used to transfer the data between the components of the computer system. Finally, the last one is control bus. Control bus, 
it is used to transfer the control signals to the various components of the computer system. So who is generating the control system, control uh, signals? It is control unit. So control unit is the one who is generating the control signals and the control signals is given to every component on how each component has to act based on the instruction. It is obviously unidirectional because the processor is the one who is generating the control signals. The control unit inside the processor is generating the control signals. So it is obviously unidirectional. How is it communicating with the other component is this. So control unit passes the signal, control signal to memory unit in this direction, to the input unit in this direction, to the output unit in this direction. So this is the bus architecture. Uh, the control, uh, uh, I mean, address bus is unidirectional. Processor is the one who has the address address of the main memory from where the instruction, the data can be fetched and everything. So it is unidirectional and this is how the um, architecture has been done. And uh, the data bus as we all know, data uh, can be fetched from the memory and data can be written back to the memory. So in uh, with respect to memory unit, the data bus is bidirectional and with respect to input unit, you are getting the input from uh, getting the data from the input unit, so the direction is this way. In the output unit, you are displaying the data or you are giving away the data, so the direction is this way. And control unit, uh, control bus, uh, control unit from in the processor is the one who is developing the control signals, so it is obviously unidirectional and this is the way it is connected to every component. So bus, finally, uh, 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 to conclude, Bus is nothing but it is group of wire which serves as a communication link between each and every component of the computer system. And uh, this can be, the bus can be of 8 bit, 16 bit, 32 bit. So depending upon the architecture, the size of the bus varies. The 8 bit um, bus, it is used to carry 8 bit information through the bus. And similarly 16 bit bus, 16 bit information can be carried through the bus. That's all about bus architecture. We'll see with the ne uh, next topic in the uh, next lecture. Thank you for watching this video.